Howdy folks, welcome to the Wild West Crypto Show Daily Update, brought to you by Carnomaly. Carnomaly is still in its pre-sale, so you ought to go to the website, and it's Carnomaly with an A at the nomaly.io, and get you some Carnomaly, you'll be glad you did. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. Brent, what are our markets doing? Well, We're wearing kind of uh, Well, we got a little of the green going, and we got some green going as well, but it's kind of flittering around. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Bitcoin is up about 99 to 100 bucks or so. Puts it about 11, 540, uh, 35, 40, depending on the exchange. What's interesting is, is uh, Bitcoin's holding up its end of the log, and the overall markets are holding up just a little less than their end of the log, but not a whole lot. So kind of a, a good update all the way around. Bitcoin's up almost 1% right now, and the overall market's up 0.7%. Right. Dow is one of the only three major indices, and it's up 230 points, puts it at 28.4%. 95, that 28.7, 28.9 range, trying to see if it can flitter around and make a new high. That's up 0.81%. Uh, the S&P is down just five points, which is 0.15%. NASDAQ's down 48, which is 0.4%. Gold, God's money's back up 639. That puts it at 19.07. Silver is up about two cents. That puts it at 24.27. And West Texas oil, or Earl as I like to call it, is a clean $41. So we like that. Anything around 40 bucks or a little above is good. And the futures are up. And in fact, they're really starting to price in some of that uh, move in Bitcoin because your December 21s are at 12,540 and the fair market value is 11,538. So yeah. they're running about 1,000 points higher than what the current valuation of Bitcoin. Well, and, and you know, we talked about it yesterday on the update. But as uh, soon as uh, soon as Bitcoin hits a million dollars in five years, yeah, you know, we're all so, gonna be rich. Yeah, yeah. But let me tell you something. They're on sale right now. They hit a <laughs> million right. bucks in five yeah, years. Yeah, yeah pretty good. Um, a deep discount right now. Yeah, yeah, deep discount. So everybody knows uh, uh, Max Kaiser. And one of the things that he says, which I think most of us out there that understand the financial markets can yeah. agree with this, but he says governments and banks are the only winners with fiat currency. Oh, sure. And it's that's a, why that's why everybody's becoming such a crypto enthusiast all around the world. Everybody from John McAfee down to uh, Crypto Finally or, yeah, yeah, or Miss yeah. Team Crypto. Yeah, or yeah, you bet. A lot of those girls that we have on. We're, we're catching them all. Yeah, he says, you can only try to win the hand with the high with a high hand, gold, silver, and Bitcoin. So once again, he's talking about, and these are the things we've been talking about, safe haven assets, gold, silver, and your cryptocurrencies, okay? He specifically mentions Bitcoin. He said, at the end of, the, of a wild year, which included the U.S. printing significant amounts of money. Folks, we've talked about this a number of times, but the U.S. dollar being the world's reserve currency is really the only thing that keeps that thing from just being like the... Venezuelan ball. Well, and the fact you know? we pass it around so they can give it back to us with the money they owe us. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, we loan the Europeans some money in their banking system, then they turn around and pay us back what they owe us. Oh, yeah. You know, so with the kinda, money we loaned yeah, them. Yeah, the yeah. money we loaned them. So, you know, the yeah. thing is, when you talk about Max Kaiser, I don't know if you remember, I don't know if it was in the 80s or when it was, but it's back when, uh, when, uh, memes and anime first started yeah. coming out. Remember yeah. that, that white haired guy that was on MTV or something? Anyway, yeah. I'm going to dig yeah. it up for you because every time you say Max Kaiser, I immediately think. see that guy. You, know? <laughs> you can picture him. Yeah. There you go, man. That's a, I'd like to say that every time I say Joe Biden, you can picture him, but he's been hiding in his basement. So, <laughs> Hey, folks, through till the election, you're probably going to hear a Joe Biden pun every day. Yeah. Um, Top crypto lawyer, you know, no, new story. Top crypto lawyer warns investors and advocates says regulatory battle over self-custody and privacy is brewing. So, you know, I, let me tell you, and it's, it's, this is one of those damning things with our, with our federal government, and we talk about this routinely, SEC's going to come in there, and they're going to, they've, they've kind of been watching crypto, and they've done little things here and there, slap on the hand and all that. Problem with this is, the deeper we get into it, and I think, remember Ripple's talking about well, moving out because they're so well, wishy-washy. Yeah. Well, the problem is this, they, they tell you what kind of milk you can drink, yeah. they, they tell you whether you have to wear a seatbelt or not. What kind of light bulbs, yeah, what, what kind, kind of, of toilet light bulbs, you can have. What kind of toilet, how many gallons that toilet can flush, you know, <laughs> yeah. if, if you're a big goer, you're in trouble, because they, they, <laughs> they don't put enough water in the toilets to flush anything down. Yeah. You know, uh, all these different things, why would you think they're not going to tell you what to do with your crypto? You bet. And and when they do, trust me, it will be to their benefit, because crypto is not that and so clear. All of yeah. you all that are, that are you know, in the process of deciding who you're going to vote for, and I'm sure there are actually some people out there that, that are in there, 
you know, sit down and think about the fact that, you know, the government is not the solution. It is the problem. That's it. That's exactly right. And folks, listen to this, said it a number of times, absolutely true. The government also does not produce anything. No. All they do is consume. So the bigger it gets, that's why with, with Kamala and, and Hyden Biden, they're wanting the government to be so big that, you know, we're all... You know, and if I could draw, I'd draw a, car, draw a cartoon because, you know, the government at one time was just a little tick on a dog. Oh, and yeah. we're the dog, yeah. okay? Now you've got an emaciated dog and a tick that's about a 105-pound <laughs> tick that's sitting yeah. on top of the dog. Telling the dog, the whipping the dog Yeah, sucking ever. the life out of it, saying, I, I need more money. Yeah. i got to save you. Yeah. Hey, listen, our, our good story for the day, an Atlanta cop gifts a woman, a mother of five, who is actually a, a, a victim of abuse, spousal oh. abuse. And uh, she got this 27-year veteran of the Atlanta Police Department, Veronica Campbell, saw this mom. She was trying to get reestablished and everything. Gave her her SUV so she could run the family around. Yeah, I'll tell you You what, know, kudos, man. Yeah, do something that make God proud today. You bet. Absolutely. Folks, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you back here again tomorrow.